that X factor, if you like. Who better to ask than someone else who's running the mile? None other than Ridian, our man. Our... Ridian, you're very welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Roy. Yeah, this mile for you is going to be easy peasy, oozing masculinity and a macho countenance coming out of every pore, aren't you? Well, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've seen yeah, the forecast yeah. as well. Yeah. It's uh, it's sunny uh, yes. and it's going to be a great day. Yeah. Uh, and my, um, I'll be honest, I, I feel like I've got a little bit of an advantage right. uh, because I, I love to run. And I've, you... I've, I've shied away from the marathon because I'm a bit of a chicken. Uh, but a mile, a mile doesn't seem too bad. Yes. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. I don't do marathons. They talk about hitting walls in marathons. Mine's just 100 metres from the start. <laughs> so no one. I've done a mile already. Have a look at my industrial injury. I could the, see that. Yeah, Poor you. I don't like to talk pit. about it too much. Yes. But it might yeah. fault, really. I... I, I wasn't concentrating. I just sort of, I should have ducked, you know. Mm. But, ducked, but no other fellas were absolutely marvellous up there, really. So it was a good mile to do. But the ladies like a scar, I've been told. So they do. They do. And it would be nice rather one. more romantic if it was a fencing scar, though. <laughs> <laughs> I did this in university, you know, <laughs> when I was in Heidelberg. <laughs> uh, now, you're probably asked to do a lot of charity events, are you? Well, yeah, I am, yeah, and it's a big part of my life, supporting yeah. charities, most definitely. Uh, the Crossroads Care is my biggest one, because that's the one that my mum works for. Yes. Uh, but there are a number of other ones, you know, the, 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 the Prince's Trust as well, that I'm amb- ambassador for. Right. But uh, sport relief is, is a huge one, uh, especially being an Olympic year. Uh, it's bigger than ever. Uh, I think there's going to be over a million participants all over yeah. the country. Uh, we're urging more people to come and join up and sign up, which they can do on sportrelief.com forward slash mile mm. uh, and sign up and get spon- sponsored. Uh, it's going to be a fun day. It kicks off, I believe, at 9.30 right. until uh, about 3 o'clock, maybe a little later. And it's, there's going to be fun face painting, a few, you know, just excitement brewing. And obviously the, the, there's going to be a number of uh, runs throughout the, throughout the morning and the day. Yes. And like I said, the weather's good and it's for a great cause. 50% of the proceeds go to uh, uh, events here in the yeah. UK. Mm. Um, uh, and, uh, and then 50, uh, the remaining for, 50% go... F- around the world for causes abroad uh, causes yeah. around the broad yeah for yeah, the poorest right, countries yeah. Yeah. so it's a but, great cause yeah but this physical sort of outlet it's quite natural for you because there was a time you know you, you know those crossroads that people have in life you were at US so you could, it, it wasn't a road forward in sport for you it could have been a dual carriageway couldn't it you know, I'm talking about your cricket, your your rugby. It oh, it's be... massively into sport. Yeah, yes. I, I went to Llandovery College, and they yes. kind of special when I was there. I think they still do, but specialised in sport. And my yes. ambition was to be uh, be a rugby player. Yes, uh, most definitely. And uh, cricket, of course, county cricket. Right. It's a huge part of my life. Unfortunately, now I can't play team sport because invariably they, the games are on a Saturday, yeah. and I'm usually performing on a Saturday, being wherever in the theatre or doing my live gigs. Uh, and I'm, it's just a commitment with the training and everything. And plus, I'm too small now, right, with rugby. I I, I've know. lost I lost about... I should have an award for the amount I've lost <laughs> since rugby. I've lost five stone. Really? Five stone. Not since you've known no, me. No, no, I mean, I was, I was slight yeah. in the ex... Well, not slight, yeah. Yeah. as he gives himself a compliment. Not that slight, but you know, yes. during school days, I was a big a big boy. Right. Yeah, well, it had to be. I, I yeah. idolised Scott, Scotty Gibbs. And, oh, uh, well, you're talking... Yeah. Now, you're talking power now, aren't yeah, you, really? Yeah. Hard boy. But it just wasn't conducive to being on stage, I no, felt. So quite. I lost a lot of weight through running, which yes. is why, again, uh, any any form of exercise to uh, promote charities and raise money for charities is right yeah. up my street. But even in shows, you know, it's quite physical on stage sometimes. You have to keep very, very fit. You're going to be in, in sort of Grease the Musical, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. Yeah, I'm playing Teen Angel, uh, reprising the role, I have to oh, say. Yeah, yeah, right. Teen well, Angel in... Uh... I remember it when it came out fresh from the oven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fr- Frankie Av- Avalon, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, I sing Beauty School Dropper. I did it a bit last year in November. I had a, had a, yeah. a great time. I'm playing again in... Or playing the role again in a- end of April, May... In a few venues, I think it's Stoke, uh, Northampton, Sheffield. The details are on my website anyway. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, when, once you're on stage and you're singing and you're doing the movement, a little bit of dance, you, you do find you're a little bit out of breath at the end. Yeah, and, I, sure. and, and that's me training. I mean, I train, I probably run five miles every day. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. And I've been doing that for ten years now. Um, uh, and... You have to keep fit, and that's what I love about theatre is the structure. There's yeah. always physical warm-ups that take between 25 and half, 25, 30 minutes before every performance, and the cast are extremely fit. 
Yes. I, I, when I saw you walking in, you've got a kind of a lycra. No, I, I, <laughs> don't I tell everybody. I can't wear I, that. I'm I, wearing my I'm wearing my radio outfit. <laughs> yeah. I can't I can't wear that because it would be no secret. <laughs> can, can I just uh, can I elaborate on what Roy just said? I'm wearing lycra because I'm wearing my sport gear. Can yes. I try to get into shape for my sport relief mile? Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Fair play. Fair play. Hey, on your performance level, though, I watched I watched the t- uh, television series on S4C. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I thought it was absolutely excellent, marvellous, classy, Thank really you. classy. I mean, the show was, uh, you know, it really classy. And the performers you had as well. It really, there was a kind of a level to it and a, and a standard to it. Well, that's what, he, what yeah. we wanted to achieve. Yeah. Um, we kind of wanted to add a little bit more spice to S4C. I mean, S4, yeah. I keep saying S4C have been extremely loyal to me. But when they approached me with the, with the idea of, a, of my own series, yes. uh, I worked with a great producer who I'm actually seeing later on. Uh, Emir Emir Avan um, at Avanti and we knew what he wanted to do and it, it had to be bringing a slice of the if you like the ITV into S4C mm. and, and mm. The, the, the big stage shiny floor surface yeah. big show entertainment light end right. and, and you know it was it was tough uh, but for a first go I think um, I hope people oh, in yeah, Wales no, no, no. it it, 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 had, it had exactly that you know, you know, and so it, it was, uh, well, not surprising, really, but it was refreshing to see it, you know, at that kind of standard and level, uh, which is extraordinary. It was a good, big yeah. coup for me to get Aled Jones on the show. Yeah. Because Aled, you know, I love Aled, but you hardly ever see him on S4C. Yeah. Uh, but So I was so delighted when we when we got him in studio. I was like, thank yeah. the Lord, Aled's in the studio. <laughs> but it was yeah. lovely to see a duet with him and yeah. Hayley Wester and Jeff Wayne, of course. I mean, he came on the show and did his War of the Worlds. Yes. Uh, which was stunning. That's right. Uh, I, I, re- I feel very, very blessed. I really yeah. do. And by the way, there's a, there's a message here before I forget. It's from Joy. Joy uh, Brummy Babe, she says. I, I understand Ridian is going to be with you on the show, Roy. Could you just say a big hi to him? Sadly, I haven't been able to get to any of his shows so far this year, but I am hoping to try to get to San Didno in June. And a belated special birthday celebration to him as well. Oh, I know, Joy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, well. she's lovely. There Thank you, Joy. Love it. Thank you. There I hope we are. to see you soon. There we go. Uh, and, of course, I gathered that you, you snuck in and visited Chris Needs o- overnight here. I did. <laughs> I did. And I'm still wondering, because he's got a gig, hasn't he, to... My to, stick. Yeah. In my stick, is it tomorrow? No, no, it's... I thought uh, it was a Swansea Grand. <laughs> oh, he's got a Swansea, a charity one in Swansea. There's one in Swansea right. for yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, diabetes. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I hope to get along to that. Oh, well done. Because, yeah, 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 I love Chris. And, of course, yeah. he's... he's Got over his illness yes. uh, tremendously. And, always had uh, a few problems. Yeah, a few yeah. problems. And, and uh, uh, yeah, I did sne- sneak in and see Chris. Always a joy. Uh, yeah. But so, so I might go down to Swansea Grand tomorrow. Uh, it's 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 still TBC, but uh, yeah, yeah. I need an early night, you see, for my uh, well, exactly right. Mile. Yes, yeah. I need two or three, and I'm only going to walk it. What time are you kicking off anyway on Sunday? I don't know. Uh, I, probably one of the first ones. Right, I would have thought. Yes, um, but. Yeah, uh, it's just, I've, I've never actually done anything like this before. No, no, I, I, really... I, I, I've checked the bus routes. <laughs> <laughs> In case. Well, that's the thing. He sent me the itinerary. I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to look at the routes, and I can't work it out. <laughs> I'm not very good at geography, but I don't want to go the wrong way. Uh, but I, I'm, yeah. you know, a lot of the uh, yeah. Welsh rugby team are uh, d- d- due to run, like yes, Sam yeah. Warburton and stuff. And oh, so I think I'm going to probably come last. But then yeah. I saw that... When go compares going, so that's all right. I won't come. I won't, well, I won't come last. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> keeping the mark on my nose because it's my Dan Lydiat now, because he's got one as well. I mean, oh, he's right. After Doing the Grand company. Slam, fair play to him. Ah, man of the series, well done to him. Absolutely. Ah, man of the moment is Ridian too. Always lovely to see you. Give me a guess, your mother and your family. My dad's actually just backstage. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. No, where we are. Well, yeah, yeah, there, we are. there we are. So we are. <laughs> oh, there we are. There we are. I'm just he loves uh, you. leaning forward. And uh, Ridian, lovely to see you always. And uh, congratulations with the S4C uh, series that you did. Uh, well, actually, how many? About six, wasn't there? It, there were uh, nine yeah. in the end. Nine, nine, in nine the shows, end. yeah. Nine in the end, sorry. And good luck to you on uh, Monday. Thank if you, you very see much. a flash, Sunday, Sunday, that's right. Sunday. If you see something flash past you, It'll be me in a taxi. In a taxi. <laughs> right. No worries. Yeah. I might hit your ride. Yeah. Continued success to you. Thank you so much.